this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Wine Boat. I wanted to introduce you to a wine you may not have tried yet because you don't normally go looking for Sauvignon Blanc out of Italy. This wine is from Trumming. Uh, this is a producer up in Alto Adige, that part of Italy in the Northeast that once was Austria and also part of Hungary, Austria, and it was its own county basically for a long time called uh, Tyrol, uh, T-Y-R-O-L. And um, it has its own unique Italian, Germanic heritage and culture, and uh, it's reflected in the wines because they, while they're both, they're both, they're inherently Germanic and inherently Italian all at the same time. The region is um, cool to moderate in its uh, growing season temperatures, and so the wines are very fresh and vibrant from here. This wine comes from Tramin, a district, and Montum, the other district and is in vineyards that are ranging from 1,155 feet above sea level to about 1,650. So you're definitely growing Sauvignon Blanc on these south-facing slopes that allow it to ripen in, in moderate sunshine with cool nights and warm days, and you get this marvelous balance. This is the 2019 vintage, um, and the first vintage of this wine was 1989. So this is not a new product. It's been around a long time, and um, let's see how it's doing. It's got an absolutely stunning nose. Um, first thing that hits me is passion fruit, actually, and then um, ripe pink grapefruit flesh. Um, definitely this lemongrass meets um, uh, that beautiful smell of the first slice into a, um, a bell pepper. And then it moves to um, sort of this ripe pear meets uh, kumquat note. It's, uh, it's really vibrant. The wine's fermented in, in stainless steel and doesn't see oak, but there's enough yeast interaction uh, that this wine has that um, sort of um, talcum powder, um, baby powder kind of note uh, alongside of some, um, you know, fresh bread dough. And um, even though the wine doesn't go through malolactic transformation, which is when that buttery uh, creaminess comes through, there's a little bit of a, you know, like a, almost a yogurt kind of smell in the wine. Definitely makes me want to take a sip. Um, it has this really kind of um, generalized note of rockiness, sort of um, uh, um, wet stones would be a good description for it. Doesn't disappoint in the flavor profile. Very similar to the nose. Very vibrant and zesty. It's got this great sort of uh, prickly texture to it that, that is very cleansing. Uh, although the fruit shows up, it's got a little extra lemongrass in the palate and then on the nose. Definitely moves more towards the pink grapefruit in the flavor profile and a little bit further away from the tropical notes, but the passion fruit is still there, just a little less ripe. And um, the kumquat is there, but it's more like kumquat skin. Definitely have the pear flesh. And uh, the finish has that wonderful whetstone minerality that sort of cuts away at the fruit and makes, it, makes you wish for another sip. Um, and then right after that comes that yeasty bread dough note um, for another layer of flavor. This is a delicious Sauvignon Blanc in a very Alto Adige style, or Sud Tirol, as it's called in the German um, dialect. And you definitely want to try this wine for your um, upcoming spring events and just because you like refreshing, crisp, bright white wine. Uh, go out and find a bottle of Tramin or Tramin uh, 2019 or 18 will still be delicious right now. Sauvignon Blanc.